It, it really smells bad in this room because Mochi has it's taken over. so many shits and pisses. We gotta clean that shit up. When Ivana gets up, I need to take a 10 minute break to go clean Mochi's poo poo. Is Mochi your dog? No, that's my girlfriend. My girlfriend took shits all over the floor. And I'm waiting for my dog to wake up so we can clean them. <laughs> yeah. Serve or die. I don't care if the others like you. Yeah, boy, thank you, man. You know what I was listening to this morning? You know what I wanted to tweet about in rage? Because I'm a very rage-induced individual. Is I wanted to tweet out about why the fuck we don't have announcer packs in this game. And why the fuck Riot doesn't want to pursue making more money in this game. And why Riot doesn't want to pursue fun and characterful things that can bring joy to everyone in this game. And why Riot again, doesn't like money. It's very bizarre. Very frustrating. Draven was the announcer of Arena, but only in Wild Rift. Well, guess what? That's gone. And it's never going to come back. Or if it does, it's like kind of a shite version. It's not that big of a deal. It's not something that's like forever. I was listening to the Gangplank Summoner's Rift announcer, and I'm just like, this is clearly amazing. Why isn't this permanent? Yeah, make an Akali announcer pack. Make a fucking, like, Kaisa ASMR announcer pack. It doesn't matter what it is. People will buy it. You'll make more money. Weird. Well, go look at it on YouTube. Literally go on YouTube and type in Gangplank Announcer, and you'll see what I mean. They they literally had Matt Mercer voice Gangplank again and do... Well, not even again. He did this during the Burning Tides when he did the voice lines for, like, the actual skin. Um, it just doesn't make sense. It's, like, such a great opportunity to bring more to this game that, again, isn't intrusive, isn't breaking gameplay, isn't doing anything. It's just fun, and it makes you money. Is that not what it's about? Having your, your player base enjoy the game and make money off of that? Because the only thing that makes this game money is skins. And by God, I'm telling you, if they released an announcer pack and you sold it, it would make more than skins. There's no reason it wouldn't. Realistically. I know there's a mod, but like, we shouldn't have to go to mods for that. It should be official. Fucking Blizzard with its dead game, Heroes of the Storm, had that. Matt Mercer is GP's voice actor. Like, how does a game... How does... Like, dude. It's so weird. It's so weird. How does Heroes of the Storm have better content than League of Legends? And I'm not kidding when I say that. It has more fun content that people can pay for, that people want, and people like. I don't understand. Yeah, the most popular game, the most popular multiplayer game, or one of, has less content than a game that stopped receiving content. It's very trash.
Like, um, imagine if you could... Yeah, exactly. Imagine if you could use orange essence for more. Imagine if the skins... I don't... Like... Bro, there's so many departments in Riot that just... I feel like they don't do anything. I know that's a lot coming from me. I'm a streamer. I don't do much. But, like... The, the saddest shit I ever saw in any update from Riot Games, specifically, was the honor system. How is the honor system... Sorry, not the honor system. The character mastery system. How is the character mastery system and the people who work on it so lost? No disrespect, but the only thing you gave us was an uncapped mastery level with shitty generic emotes that no one gives a fuck about, that everyone has, and it's not rewarding for the character you like. There's no flavor, there's no love, there's no distinction. Like, oh my god, I've played Gangplank for 3,000 games. Look at the Gangplank emote I've unlocked. Or look at the look at the chroma I was given for all of my hard work. It's like, no, it's okay. You've played him for 3,000 games. You get the exact same icon as everyone else who did the exact same thing. On their own character. It's like, are you serious? What a load of garbage. What about Eternals? Eternals are trash. Eternals serve... No purpose. They're fucking useless. Yeah, it's really bizarre. I mean, you, you know how you get people to buy these things? You just put a little bit of money into it to make it worth purchasing. Eternals aren't even real. Eternals are a stat tracker with no reward. It's like... Like, what are, what are we doing with this? You know what I mean? What is it? It's just frustrating. It's really sad. Easy money. TF with his best skin that like the shaggy skin. That is not his best skin. You know, it's so funny to me. They're, they're like, yeah, we want to make... <laughs> I mean, skins are subjective. Liking something is subjective. But it's like, for a company that loves making money and that needs to make money to fund, you know, other games and whatnot, um, they release... Disco TF and it looks like a pile of shit and I'm sure nine times out of ten people agree so like Couldn't you have just made something different? Well Orange I don't I don't really know what you do with the orange essence to be honest. I have no idea. I don't think bringing back rare skins is the way to go about it. I think just unlocking more features to, like, enjoy. Hi, Mochi. What are you doing? It is not a good TF skin. Like, the Space Groove line is okay, but the TF skin sucks. Hi, Mochi. What's up? What's up, little buddy? I'm playing League of Legends, a game you should never play mochi. It's a bad thing for you. It's very bad. It's like eating chocolate. A sight for scurvy eyes. Tell me about it. I was disappointed with Disco Tarik. Like, come one bro, Star Guardian is right. Is it's the perfect skin for Tarik? I mean, it would work. It would work. It's just we need more personality in League. More fun. More character. Like, it's just a ra it's an experience where you fight people, and that's it. Half the time, you hate every player in the game. You don't want to listen to them. The game is built upon not skill, but, like, who picked the better champion. Like, at least give us some sort of fun, bro. Good 
give us something to care about, you know what I mean? You know what I saw as well? You're talking about Wild Rift exclusives. They fucking brought out the Braum skin. Glorious... Uh, gl glorious... Something Braum. Did you see that skin? For Wild Rift? I thought it was cool looking. I'm just like, Wild Rift taking these W's, League taking all the L's. It's like, yeah, that's about right. It's so crazy to me that Wild Rift seems like more of a real game than League does, and it came out of fucking nowhere. It spawned out of, like, a pour on League's ball sack. And it's still being, like, it, it looks better. It's, in my opinion, more supported. Like, come on, man. Where's the love in the game that you made that, like, spawned everything? Like, yeah, the mobile market is good. China loves that shit. Like, what else do you do in certain places in the world if you don't have access to a PC? Because I'm pretty sure in China, most of what you do on a computer is probably through, like, an internet cafe. Right? Well, I mean, this just goes to show you how much Riot cares. You've got Patrick Bateman on Twitch running it down with 300 ranked accounts, and Riot is looking at that like, that seems good. It's like, they, bro, they don't care. These guys don't give a shit. They don't care. Tons of people play mobile games during commute. Oh yeah, for sure. It's more convenient to play mobile games than it is PC games. Oh, W is in one second. This'll do for now. Oh. As promised, oh. I genuinely want to see you at your best. Oh my god, to be more really? Endeavors, not only for yourself, but for the people that come and watch you. I know you can do it. I have a lot of faith in you, brother. As Damn. always, with love. I know what this is for. We talked about it yesterday. Hey, thank you, man. Even though you come here and you do say a lot of religious stuff, that, you know, we I do question some of it. You have a good heart, bro. You're a good man. And I'm not just saying that because you gave me money. You did also suggest faith. Very good game. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate that. What, what he donated it for was... And you're right. You know. Um, I mean, I can't stream if I'm dead. So. Essentially what it was was that yesterday I talked about in June or July when I go back that I want to exercise between cues because I am overweight. And he said, I'll give you money for an exercise bike. That's what I was talking about. And uh, like you said yesterday, man, you donate it today and you did. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. So we will. I got to get a camera. I got to get a PC and I have to get an exercise bike. Those are the three new things. And I do appreciate you helping me with that, because that's very generous, buddy. So thank you so much. Half of the exercise bike was purchased. Yes, sir. Give me your old PC. No, we need a new PC. Get a rower instead of a bike. Well, this was for... Well, I don't really have much room in the room. You got it, brother... Yeah, I, hey, I really do appreciate that, man. That you do something like that, that's very generous. Thanks, buddy. I will be ordering one. Uh, again, like June, July, when I'm back in that room indefinitely. That's what we're doing. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I will need to use a fucking exercise bike to lose weight between games. Foldable treadmills are the goat. I don't think I've seen one of those. Ooh. 
Well, I mean, what I'm looking at again, I don't think it's... It's not expensive. Like, it, it's just a little bike you put in. It, it's a little bike you build and you set it up and you're done, right? Okay. Olaf is fucking OP. Get a standing desk, ride exercise bikes while playing. Uh, the reason I can't get a standing desk is because I've already created both of my stream setups, and the room that it's in doesn't allow for the desks to be maneuvered in any way. So, anything that can go up and go down is not good. Like, the only thing that can move is my chair, vertically. But I do have space for the exercise bike. As long as it's not too big, I do have space and I can sit on it and do it between games. But you still eat cheeseburgers between games. Uh, last night? You want to know what I ate last night? Okay, I did I talk about it last night? I told Ivana, I'm like, I'm going to start eating healthy. And I, I have been, actually. Um... I went grocery shopping in a snowstorm. I come back with two bags of, of food. And what I made, I showed her it was in the pan. It was ch it was grilled chicken, spinach, peppers, bean sprouts in a pan with a bit of oil. Cle like, cooked. And I showed her, and she's like, what the fuck are you making? What is this trash? And I said... You're eating it. And I left, and I made the food, and she ate it. She said it was damn good. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing for me, I chronically weigh 150 pounds and cannot gain anything more than 10 pounds before losing it instantly. That sounds like shit. I mean, I, I'm probably like 80 pounds more than you. What did I make? I just said what I made. It was grilled chicken, bean sprouts. Um, okay. Grilled chicken, bean sprouts. It was literally putting chicken in a pan and a bunch of random vegetables and then cooking it together and eating it. It wasn't really a meal. It was just a bunch of greenery with a chicken. I think that's what I enjoy now. Whenever I go grocery shopping, I don't look at snacks. I don't look at garbage. I look at greens. I'm like, what can taste good if I just buy it fresh? That's what I look at now. Yo, 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 yo. We're good, we're good. Mochi, are you good? Are you good, baby Mochi? Hello, Mochi. Ooh. Green M&Ms be looking good. No, I really think it's just... I don't know. I feel more connected to the earth. Like I like I was born from it. You know what I mean? When I eat greens. It's like I'm in my backyard picking fucking like lettuce or something. It, it, it feeds my spirit. It's very delicious. I don't even know what any of the shit is when I'm looking at it, and I'm just like, you know what? This could taste good. Sounds like something an elf would say. Well, okay, what if I was connected to, like, rocks and stones? The elves aren't connected to the earth. They're connected to, like, trees and greens. Well, they can be, but dwarves are more so connected to, like, dirt than elves are.
What do dwarves even eat? I mean, if you want the real answer in Warhammer Fantasy, dwarves eat uh, meat, like grains and things that they can turn into bread, which they also combine with like rocks for stone bread. They grind up like stone into flour and they make bread of it. They trade, right? Whatever they can't get on the mountainside, such as like goats and whatnot. They go to the Empire, they go wherever. Uh, I barreled instead of queuing. Beer. They can drink beer and survive off beer. Because it's like, if you live in a fantasy world, where you live is what you're offered, unless you're trading with someone from a different province or like, you know, place of more animals or greens or more sunlight, whatever it may be. Your environment is what you have. If there's nothing to eat there, you're fucked. So you kind of make do with what you got. YouTube videos. YouTube videos are for everybody, and they provide you with infinite amounts of wisdom on any subject ever. Well, I mean, yeah. If you're if you're on a movie set, like you're catered to every day. Every day you're eating good. You are eating like a fucking king every day. I mean, she wards it, so I'm dead automatically. Unlucky. Mochi, if she face-checked that, she was dead. She was so dead. Yeah, Prince, take it easy, man. Thank you, buddy. Peace, brother. Peace and harmony. Bro. Well, she's fed, that's why. Peace and love, dude. You're dead, goodbye. What? Oh, she fail flashed. I fucking ulted over the wall, but she literally fail flashed the wall. This is warded. Oh, she what? What's up? I mean, I can kill a Kali if she walks into a bush that isn't warded and I can instantly hit her with barrels and autos, she will die. Like, if she answers this wave and checks these brush, like any of these, and I'm sitting in them, she's dead. Watch. I can instantly triple passive her with like a billion true damage and she can't play. Here she comes. But why would you face check this, right? Like, I, there's no reason I'd be in here. Yeah, there's no reason to.
Mercy. I'm Baron. Well, I mean, it's not that she's not falling for it. It's that why would your movement ever put you in those positions? That's the problem. No human player will ever walk into those brushes in that situation, ever. It doesn't make sense. There's nothing to do. You'd realistically never path any of these ways. What I could do is sit here. And then maybe they try and face check some bullshit, but like... Big maybe. Like, if you're sitting in this bush, who walks into this bush? And you, they need to walk into the bush. Because you have to start with an auto attack. If, if you don't get an auto attack off, you're not going to kill them. You can't walk out, cue them, in, and then be like, I'm going to auto you. Because at that point, you're dead. This bitch is so fed. I should have got sweeper. Fuck. I wonder if she'll start grouping, knowing that she's like getting shit on insides. She's top. Fuck, get him, man. Oh, I had him in like one Q, one Q. Realistically, one Q. And your team is still losing. Yeah, I mean, Olaf is doing nothing. He's splitting. <laughs> so, I don't know, bro. It's fine. It is okay. It is okay. Nasus brained Olaf. I mean, realistically, if I go Rukern or Ma, I could do Ruk uh, Shield Bow Rukern. Although Phantom Dancer would be sick against the Kali and like insta kill Volley Bear. Phantom Dancer is one of those items that you wish you could build every game, but it's sadly not that good until you've got other items. I wish Phantom Dancer was good. I wish you could build it every game because it's so fun to use. Like, it genuinely is fun. It gives you a shit ton of move speed, attack speed. It just lets you play the game so much more smoother. Bro, just kill them. Literally kill them. Thank you. Why is that so problematic? I mean, I'd like to go PD here, I'm not gonna lie. PD into shield bow, say fuck MR. All or nothing. If I get touched by any AP champ, I'm just auto-killed for free. I'm automatically killed for free? What can I do?
Uh, he's dead though, no? Uh, he's just so fed though, to be fair. That guy's like piss fed. Super fed. Oh! Is that death? God. <laughs> okay. Thank God. Thank God, bro. We're sitting here suffering. Jesus. Can't wait for story mode to come out in Wild Rift. That'd be a slap in the face, wouldn't it? You guys have phones, right? Just play on the phone. Okay, I'm six items with a shield bow, but I still get one shot. What? What noise are you making? What time is it? 3 p.m., eh? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. DD is good. DD Ma is like the cure all armor MR build. It's just really good. If you have a shield, though, it's like even better. They got destroyed. What could they do? Wild Rift story mode is real? Wait, are you serious? Wild Rift story mode is real. You're bullshitting. I will look it up after this game. Wild Rift is getting a PvE story mode. How did I not know about this? League is so shit. They don't fucking care about this game. It's just the same fucking experience 30,000 times over. Mochi, stop, baby Mochi. It's okay. It's okay. You making all the weird noises, baby mooch. It's a joke, it's not real. Was it April Fools? Oh, you growling mochi, you're the size of a shoe. Nobody's scared of you. Stop it. I mean, I can just kill a Kali, I don't really care. That barrel on Pike was so clean. That barrel on Pike was so clean. That shit could not have been smoother. 
You stop right now. You stop right now. You stop right now. Damn, I love seeing Quay die, even though he won't die. Ziggs was able to backdoor two towers? Really? Secret Labs gaming chair. This is, unfortunately, though, an Ikea chair. It is not a Secret Labs gaming chair. That Nami is trash. Secret Labs gaming chair. Secret Labs gaming chair. Secret Labs gaming chair. Fuck, I'm the only one who's alive for this. Olaf is up in 20. If Akali is dead, maybe I can clutch it. I've got ult. I've also got attack speed boots. And by the time I get there, I should have shield bow. Okay. Mochi, stop. Face check this, please. Uh, I had W in one second and maybe could have lived. I got stunned by... I got stunned before I was able to auto him with another uh, passive. What the fuck killed me? A burn? Oh, this dragon burns you, right? Yeah, this burns you, I forgot. I thought it was just an execute, but it's not. It's like a burn execute. PD is crit. All of this is crit. I mean, honestly, me dying right there is good because they can't even fight now. I wasted Volibear's time, which then wastes their whole team's time. Why do you come for me? Baby Mochi is a big complainer. Wow. <laughs> he missed his auto. He didn't even auto me. What an idiot. All right, GG. If you want to know a trick on how to kill people in stasis or resurrection through, like, uh, Guardian Angel, if you're playing Gangplank, just throw a bunch of barrels down in a line, and when you shoot them, you're not going to miss because one of the connections will hit the person. GG. Like, there is no reason to put only one barrel down on top of someone. You can make it spaced, but still connected to them. And even if you miss the first one, the second one will hit them. Thankfully. Thankfully. It's a good strat. It works. Any sexual value to this stream, like, as in sex-wise? 
I mean, you're probably more likely to have sex if you watch this stream in your life. So, yeah, there is. It's just spiritual sex vibes. It's like the stream is, the gameplay is so attractive that it imbues your very spirit, your soul, with attractiveness. And then later down the line, women will be interested in you. It's true.